And right here in Livorno, Italy, Iran Barkley from the Bronx, New York, and an adopted native son now of Italy, Patricio Sumbu Palombi, are getting set to contest the WBA World Middleweight Boxing Championship. It's right here for you on ESPN, coming right up from Livorno in Italy. Marvin Hagler ringside along with Ray Mancini to see if Barkley can ascend the throne of the WBA middleweight division. Iran Barkley's title hopes are about to be realized. He worked hard toward that goal all year long, first against Stacy McSwain. Back in February, good combination. A stunning left hand shown by Barkley. He stalked his man in the late going, relentlessly with both hands driving him across the ring. Barkley, an easy winner over McSwain, but he had one more step to climb on the ladder to war the title bout. That was outdoors in Las Vegas, Nevada against Jorge Amparo. Amparo proved a tough foe. He stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe, stayed with Barkley much of the way. Then in the middle round, was it a slip or was it a knockdown on a wet canvas, but Amparo went down. Badly cut, doctors at ringside allow Barkley to continue despite the eye. And he turned it on again in the late going, dropping Amparo a second time in round nine. That was enough to get a decision, and Barkley is on his way to a title shot here in Italy. So Iran Barkley of the Bronx, New York, is getting set to go against Sundu Kalambe, now fighting out of Italy. He's become a naturalized citizen and an adopted son of this fine country that is hosting this boxing card tonight. So what are the important points? What are the keys to victory for these two fighters? When it comes to Barkley, you got to talk about a stronger defense. He's had a bad habit of leaving his left hand too low, and he's paying for it. He needs to put the pressure on early. I think he knows that in our pre-fight conversations with him. For Callum Bay, well, need to control the fight. From the outset, if he can, he has good combinations. He's got to use them. You never know about Callum Bay from day to day as to how he's going to come up for a fight. He looks pretty relaxed right now, though, Ray. Oh, he's got to be relaxed. I've talked to him in the lobby. He's the most calm guy. Yeah, of the two, Barkley, although he certainly wasn't totally uptight, would look a little more tense of the two. Well, he certainly has a lot on his mind. You know, he knows he's in Italy, this guy's backyard. He wants to bring his title back to America. So he certainly is, you know, tense, but he'll use it to, a, you know, effective aggression, I'm sure. Callum Bay with 42 wins, three losses, and a draw in his career. Barkley, 22 and three, with 14 knockouts. You said earlier, John, this, this certainly is an opportunity in a lifetime for Iran Barkley. I met Iran 1983 when he was a sparring partner for then-champion Davey Moore. And he made such a good showing and such a name for himself then. So I'm glad to see that he's getting a chance for the fight for the title. And marvelous Marvin Hagler, what do you expect from this bout coming up? Well, I don't know right yet. You know, to me, they look very even. You know, uh, I expect it a 50-50. Uh, I think the first round is going to probably uh, de uh, determine how this fight is going to come out and what kind of pace that's going to be set. You know, for the 15 rounds. It is a very small ring, actually. It's two feet in uh, measurement, smaller than the minimum allowed by the rules on it, about 16 feet. I wonder if that would favor Iran Barkley. Sure. Well, you know what's different about this? Neither one of them guys has been in for a title shot yet, so um, they have to fill each other out. I think the short distance certainly would benefit Barkley. He is the strongest, too. He's the pressure fighter. It's easy to cut off, um, cut off the ring easier. It is scheduled for 15 rounds, and that is longer than Barkley, who has gone 12 as his maximum, has ever traveled to the pro fight ring. Barkley in the black trunks, and Allen Bay in the white, the favorite of this crowd here, totaling 4,200 standing room only in Livorno, Italy. Well, one thing that's, that's good, when you fight away from home, you know you got to fight harder. And uh, if he wants to bring the title back to America, that's just what he's going to have to do. As he knows if it goes the distance here, I, I'm quite sure he won't get it. Well, as we saw in our earlier feature on Barkley, he suffered a bad cut. In fact, uh, many other places might have stopped that bout against Amparo. He went on to win a controversial decision. And I saw the scar from that. He runs the risk today of having that open up on him, I'm sure. <laughs> well, what I see in Nevada Barkley, you know, he, he take the fight right, right to you. He's not scared to be hit. But uh, I think right now he's got to box a little bit more. Get that jab pumping. It's a very tentative first round. The jab is very tame at this stage, flicking it infrequently. As it is, Colin Bay is coming on with any kind of aggression here in the early going with his jab. You were speaking earlier, Don, of the eye. 
Believe me, speaking from experience, you can't go into the ring thinking about that. You just go in and do your job. You figure, hey, you're going to get your face out of the way of the punches. And if it should cut, hey, then you'll deal with it then. Yeah, I'm sure he's trying not to think of it, but it could be a factor in this battle. Um, of course. As we go along. Then again, it may not come to bear. Well, I hope these guys just make it look like a championship bout. You know, that's my thought up there. Well, uh, <laughs> that's one of them. You got it. <laughs> well, thank you. You haven't got it. <laughs> For the moment. All right, Marvel, what is the plan now? You want to let these people sort this out and get, get active again, or are you still thinking about it? Well, let's let the world find out, see how these guys are. <laughs> they let me know whether they want me back or not. You want to see if the demand can be created, is that it? Oh, yeah. My Vince, my Vince. <laughs> Come back. You're getting a sampling of that here in Lavorto. Oh, definitely. It is scheduled for 15. Parkway and Callum Bay. Well, to tell you a little story, what happened by WBC, because we wouldn't fight this guy Graham out there in London, and then Colibay went out there and, and put him away, so, uh, you know, now he's got the opportunity to fight for the title. That was Colibay's last fight, on May the 26th, mm -hmm. winning over Graham in London. Well, I couldn't make that fight because I was fighting someone else uh, named, uh, what's that guy's name again, uh, Lennon? Never forget a name, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a much bigger chance than uh, thought that Mr. Graham would have been. So a very uneventful first round, but they've got a long way to go. Sketch for 15, stay with us. Callum Day from the corner on the right now, the white front circling against Iran Buckley of the Bronx, New York. The second round, scheduled for 15, the WBA middleweight championship on the line here in Livorno in Italy at ESPN. Buckley getting a little more aggressive, showing signs of it here in the second round. Yeah, he's he's... the left of the body and then laid off, unfortunately. He started, but he's reaching, though, Don. He's yep. reaching. And he could find himself in trouble by reaching. I think at this point, we're seeing the switch in roles. We thought it was Barkley that would be coming forward. Yes. And Lombe that would be backing up. Well, he's backing up just for the moment now, but it's close to the aggression that's come from Calambe. Don, you see that... Um, Barkley's throwing a lot of left hooks down underneath and coming to the top. They said he was working on that in the gym, not throwing, throwing two, but three, four, and five for left hooks, one after the other. He saw one right there. Well, sometimes, you know, the crowd can work against you when you're a favorite here, you know. And Calibre have to uh, blank out the crowd and just go to work, concentrate on what he's got to do in there. All right, we have a round that he's judged by these two. How did you two gentlemen see it, Ray? I had a Columbia winning 10-9 just because at the end of it, he started dictating the pace and he, and he took center ring. No big well, I got it even. I got it 10-10. We got a long way to go. Also, if I may get a chance real fast before this fight starts to heat up, uh, Don, I want to... I think the people of ESPN, and I'm sure I speak for everyone, when we say that the people of Livorno have treated us royal, uh, the people at the Hotel Palazzo have been very, very good. Uh, the accommodations have been great. I'm sure even that uh, <laughs> Al Bernstein would, uh, would find these appealing. I will have Al back with us in Las Vegas next week. But to show you how good the accommodations are for Marvin, he's staying with a team of Italy. He's staying his weekend. That's right. Here. I tell you, the ceilings are very high in there. <laughs> I can have a ballroom dance in my living room. You could bowl in the living room, I'm <laughs> hey, sure. You, you can even tell El that Liza Minnelli was spent last week there. So <laughs> it's not the Hilton, but it'll do. Now then, CD and Hagler are gracing the old hotel. Well, these two, Barkley, and yeah. Callum Bay start to mix it up a little better here in the second round. Well, well you know, they... power now from Iran. Both of them are looking for early knockouts, though. And they got to realize they got a, a long way to go in there. Good shot. Now, he dug that left hook underneath, that right hand to the top. Good but, combination. That's what Iran's going to have to do. But Iran is getting hit with it. He's leaving his head up when he's throwing him. What about his left hand? I know it comes up and down, but it doesn't look to be as dangerous as before. Head, though. That's where right. he's going to get caught with a hook. Point. Good point. You just watch how his head keeps coming out every time he throws those body shots. Defense has been a problem for him throughout his pro career. This is 26th professional bout shooting for the WBA middleweight title here tonight. Well, Calabay looks real calm, though. He's just waiting for Iron Barkley Bar Bar to make a mistake. There's the bell to end the second. expression of the face of Callum Bay as he comes out for round three against Oran Barkley. They begin to mix it more in that second round after a very tentative first in which both men fell his opponent out. 
physically, these two guys are about the same. Barkley may have a half inch to an inch uh, height advantage. The reach, almost the same. Uh, again, Barkley has a slight advantage there. They weighed him just half a pound apart today. Colin made 160, and Barkley had 159 and a half. But, well, however, there's a story to that. Yes. Well, if you notice something here, Colin Bay keeps moving all the time towards his left. And pretty soon, Barkley will probably start zeroing it in because he's, he's open for a right hand. He's dropping right. that left hand down low, Colin Bay is. You're listening to Marvin Hank. Good. Right right good good shot. shot. Yes, you did, man. Now he's going to He heard him. He caught him on the end of that punch. Cut him on the end of that punch. Now, what Colin Bay's got to do is stay in tight. He's letting Iron Barkley get off with them long right hands, and he's still circling to the... He's still circling to that, uh, that left side. What Barkley's got to do, he's got to throw that left hook and straight right hand. He'll step over to the right, right, Mark? That's right. He's got that right hand. He's got that right hand. He's got right here, right here. But not now. Right, right there, he just got caught because Barkley keeps his head up when he comes yes, in. Yes, he's throwing a left hook from too far away. I think he's concentrating too much on trying to knock this guy out when he should be trying to put his punches together. A little over anxious in pursuit there of the it is. There it is. A good shot right there. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now he's losing his self-composure, and that can get you in trouble. Barkley don't like to be hit. When he gets hit, he, he gets, a, gets aggressive, and he loses all self-control like that. Run, run into things like that. Colin Bay looks most composed and collected. That's well, they, they both been stung to me right now. The thing I'm noticing about Barkley is that his hands are getting, as we see in the business, ragged. They're not staying in front of him. They're, they're all over the place. Oh, there's a good shot. Yeah, but look, there's his head up again. Yeah. That's the right hand. Nice to follow there with the right, yep. Throw that left hook in the straight right hand. That's what he's got to do, follow up with it. You can come back with another left hook. You gotta put his combination together. I'm sure when he gets back to the corner, Hector Roca, his trainer, will tell him uh, correct these mistakes. Well, you can see also Calabay just pulled back out of there, and that's going to be a bad mistake also. That's what happens. When he backs up out of there, your head comes up, and your hands go down. Right here, you'll see right man back. Berkeley threw that right hand, caught him right at the end of it. He didn't get him square with it, because if he did, he could have put him down, maybe. A good following left hook to end that flurry. Yes, he did hurt him, though. This is the fourth round, scheduled for 15 in Livorno, Italy. Well, I gave it both. I gave it 10-10 uh, because of the reason that uh, I think they both got stung. He got caught with that uppercut earlier, too. So they're both, they're both right now starting to heat up, and they're both finding uh, their targets. How did you see the last round, right? I gave it to Barkley 10-9. I think that uh, he hit him with the more aggressive shots, uh, the strongest punches, and I think now that he's starting to dictate the fight. He's starting to do the things that he wants to do. He is reputed to be the heavier okay. puncher of the two. But Ken, like Marvin said earlier, remains to be seen. You know, this fight's very even uh, to me right now. You know, they still, no one's uh, dominated it at all. Anything can happen in this fight. You may also want to say, Don, that we have uh, Iran Barkley, even though we are in Italy, has some support here. We have his wife here. We have American film actor Danny Aiello, who's doing a film in Rome. He's here cheering a friend on. Well, Barkley was an amateur who had to give up his Olympic dream. He became a father of a young daughter just a couple of years before the Olympics and decided he'd better turn professional. And now he's very close to a world title if he can beat this tough opponent, Sambu Colin Bay. Well, Colin Bay looked like he's starting to get aggressive now. He might have found something in that last round. See, there you go, right there. Nice right hand. And it was a long right hand. Again, just on the tip of it. Colin Bay, you can see he's a slick fighter. He turned his shoulder. He rolled with the punch. Just what I said about earlier, the intelligence. Uh, they say it's the intelligence of Colin Bay versus the strength of uh, Barkley. Yeah, he has the look of a very clever fighter. Will Barkley be clever enough not to get caught? Because we say defense has not been his strong suit. You know, defense is your best offense, and your best offense is your defense. They won't put Mark. Good point. I've uh, been in there 17 years. Yes. <laughs> guys, guys found out a thing or two, hasn't he, Ray? I think a little bit. <laughs> Is that hook from Calabay now? Well, you know what I noticed. Every time I told you when he's getting wild, now Barkley's getting wild, he, he started lifting his head up every time he throws that crazy uh, left hook to the body. He's getting careless a little bit. He's getting And he pays for that exchange. 
Mark, you, I'm There's sure. There's a jab from Calabar. As an experienced fighter, you, who would you tell Kalab Barkley in the corner? He's starting to cock that left hand, and every time he does, Kalabar steps over to the left. Would you tell him to faint with the left hook and drop the right hand? Faint and see what he's going to do. Oh! Kalabar Kalabar's going to catch him because Barkley's getting careless. But Barkley right there had a good exchange. A couple of hooks and three pretty good looking jabs. Every time he, he throw, every time he crossed the left arm, Col Colin Bay moves over to the left, away from the hook. He should faint with the left hook and drop the right hand. Tries to pin him in the corner and nail him there, but he takes the left hook from Colin Bay. And so the fourth round is over here in Navarro. It is scheduled for 15. Stay with us on ESPN for Italy. All right, Marvin, let's have a look at some of that fourth round action. See, this is the shot that I've been telling you about. Barkley starts to drop that right hand a lot. And Calibre is starting to gonna start countering right over that right. Right over the left, excuse me. Yes. He has done that before and did a pretty good job, at least a better job, of keeping it up in the first couple of rounds, but it's sinking lower and lower. I think Calibre is starting to get a little smart, man. Like, like Ray says, he's starting to use the experience. He's rolling his shoulders, taking the edge off the, off the, uh, the power of the punch. Barkley said, my left hand tends to sag a little. I have to constantly remind myself of it. Well, you know what every boxer should do is always use that jab. That jab is what's supposed to set your opponent up for a right hand or a left hook or whatever. See, Marvin said earlier, every time Barkley cocks the left hand, he also sticks his chin, chin up, which you can see he is doing. He's going to have to keep a touch it closer to his chest. Don't worry. <laughs> Tell him you'll find it. He'll, he'll tuck it down then. <laughs> Good right hand on the chin to cure that real fast, right, Mark? He's lying. There it is again. That's the shot we were just talking about. The wicked left hand. Calibre is watching him real good, real close. There it is again. Now, Aaron Barkley's getting careless. He wants to put this man out, and that's the wrong thing to do. Take your time in there. Pick your spots. Be smart. Try to, the game of, of boxing is a chess and checker game. Yeah, no sense being impatient, I guess. Uh, you're saying you got 15 rounds to sign for, wear them down, and use it to your advantage. Exactly. This is the thing, talking to Iran Barthel earlier today, he was saying that he knows it's a 15-round fight, and each round he's taken separately as a separate fight, and he's not going to go in there and try to do the job too soon. He feels that if he can keep the pressure up, it'll catch him in the later rounds. Well, what Calabay is doing right now is countering. He's just countering right back when he throws a punch, he's countering right back. And that's smart on his part. And often catching Barkley on the way in with a good left hand of his. Well, you know Barkley was getting off first in the beginning. Now he's trying to go for power. And that's slowing him down and throwing off his, it's throwing off his accuracy. And he's able, he's getting hit more. That's what I mean. Calibre's beating him to the punch now. Just by with that left hand. Yep, very Just quickly. the jab. That's what we was talking about. And that's what they teach you first in the gym. <laughs> He uses that left hand very well. Yes, he does. Really and you can see Calibre is keeping his hands up a little higher than what Barkley is. There's a hook at the end of that exchange by Barkley that landed with the left hand. Uh, Again, uh, in the main, he's getting beaten to the punch here by Cannon Bay as it reaches the uh, fifth round of action for this championship. The referee is Isidro Rodriguez from Venezuela. And he's letting them do their thing. So they're just about a third of the way home here. Scheduled for 15 in Italy. Stay with us. <laughs> Example of that last round of Barkley letting his defenses down, and he caught with a good left hand from Columbe. He's kind of losing his composure now. He's going for the knockout, and that's why he's making a lot of mistakes out there, Don. This is round six. Don Chevrier with marvelous Marvin Hagler and Ray Mancini ringside in Italy for you as the WBA middleweight crowd is up for grabs. Aran Barkley in the black truck, and Patricio Sambu Columbe in the white. Well, this is a very interesting fight for me. <laughs> I wonder what Tommy Hearns and uh, Rodan are doing in, in Las Vegas right now. They may have their minds on other things, like next <laughs> Thursday night. Well, I'll be there. Well, Frank Tate won one-third of the championship over Elijah Day. Well, Dan and Hearns go at it. These two are here tonight looking for another third of the title that once belonged to marvelous Marvin Hankler. I get a feeling he is thoughts about having it returned to him. Well, I don't like this, this atmosphere here, <laughs> but uh, it's interesting. 
seems lately that Adam Brasso is becoming a one-handed fighter. He's got to start dropping that right hand. But certainly faint with it, let the guy know that he has it. Yeah, the, the left can set up so much, but you got to follow it. What about the over... I think Barkley's going to throw the overhand right is what he's trying to set up uh, Calibre with. Right there. Yeah. He's trying to throw the overhand. Yep. Because that would be a good good shot for him right now because Calibre is dropping that left hand now also. So he's not throwing any of his punches straight now. He's looping everything. See? Mm -hmm. You kind of forget about boxing. All right, let's see how these two world champions have scored it so far. I uh, scored last round 10-9, Colombe. Colombe, I'm sorry. And I have a 48-47, one point lead for Colombe. Marvin? Exactly, that's the same thing. I gave Colombe that round, 10-9. Well, Colombe has shown that he can initiate action and be a good counterpuncher as well. Ooh. Well, they're both on hooks now. He certainly he slipped inside of Barkley's hook and dropped his own. Look, at he's starting to roll the head. He's rolling the shoulders, rolling the head. But Ray, he's also dropping that left hand. Yes, he is. Go for Yaki Bai with a straight no, right. He dropped the right hand. hand right there. That's all it takes is a nice straight right hand. I think Barkley looked like he's getting hurt, you know? Oh, good shots to the body. He's hurt. And the blood now coming from the mouth. Okay, he's getting, he's getting wild. He's getting wild. Almost getting, he's getting wild. And this is what I told you about Barkley. This is the only thing that gets him in trouble. This is how my younger brother beat him. Robbie Sim. Oh, yeah. Dropped it. I'd like to see him get back in there. Well, that's the end of the round. It was a very good one for Colin Bay as Barkley's defense he simply fell apart with the final minute of that round. Here's round seven underway, approaching the midway point of this scheduled 15-round WBA middleweight championship bout. Barkley's getting hit more now. And one thing that Color Bay has uh, advantage of because the cornermen can't, <laughs> can't understand what, uh, what Color Bay's people are saying to him in the corner. They're speaking Italian to him. <laughs> it's a good hook by Barkley again, but he is certainly catching more than he is giving. too far out he's not stepping in with his punches at all he's reaching that's what i was telling you in the first round colin bay certainly is sticking to his fight plan though he said he's gonna stay at the end of a jab move then try to step in and throw flurries of punches and then move again that's well, far he's doing a uh, good job of it sure he is right you know he's, he's counter punching now he's letting wait for him to throw something like right there and then counter from it see yeah, Barkley's starting from so far back, he can't help but be wild when he throws yes, it. Yes. Well, he's losing it right now. Barkley seems that he's, uh, I'm sure he looks surprised at uh, Colin Bay's speed. I believe that uh, Barkley's uh, left eye is a little swollen over the top. Well, that was the eye that caused some problems to him before. Probably from the hard jab, the left jab that Colin Bay's doing. That's a nice right hand. Now, what he should do is pick up that left hand right now. I think he's spitting blood out of his mouth also. Yeah, he was in the previous round and is again here. Colombi very patiently has just fought his plan. Throughout this bout and round by round, you've seen him, seen him gain control while Barkley's frustration grows. I wonder how come Barkley's not concentrating on trying to cut the ring off of uh, Colin Bay. He's just letting him uh, walk around him. Right there, he's got him. And then he gets crazy and loses it. Tried to follow with the right there, but uh, couldn't control it. <laughs> now he should have came back with the left hook. And step in with the left hook. There's a lunging right that lands from Colin Bay. I, I ran back his legs shuddered there for a moment. Now, I don't know if it's because he's hurt, or he's tired, or he just was off balance. But uh, I'm going to start wa have to watch those legs from here on. Well, they can tell you a lot, can't they? Oh, that's for sure. When you watch his hands, too, they're also dropping. I see Carlos, I mean, Barkley just took a quick look at me over here. Like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> he thinks he's a tag team. <laughs> Marvin said, first thing is going after my title. <laughs> <laughs> Barkley able to get less and less done as this fight for... Yeah. Chop 
big right, a big left to follow. Some rip off the guys wrong. Alza le mani per Osumbo, eh? Anche la sinistra. This was seventh round action. With the long left just grazing and then the hard chopping right landing from Colombe. Colombe's corner was telling him and caught this in the tie-in, uh, Don. Not to stand there and punch with them, to use his speed. Use his speed. Don't try to get, don't stand there and punch with them. That's why even though he's beating him to the punch. It was Barkley who flashed speed earlier, but that has diminished greatly as the bout has progressed now to the halfway mark. Well, he's still spitting out blood, you know. I think Barkley's not used to being uh, uh, used to seeing his blood. Well, he certainly was in the last play when he had that bad cut to, against that barrel, managed to win the fight. But this would be very uncomfortable for him at this stage. I didn't think that he anticipated that Columbia would be this tough. Maybe not. We were talking about last time where Barkley was looking a little bit tired. But let me assure everyone that he is in tremendous shape, great shape. He's had three sparring partners with them, and I think they're worth mentioning. Dennis Milton from New York, Richard Burton from New York, Aldo Roosevelt Williams from New York. Uh, these guys gave him tremendous amount, uh, uh, training, tremendous sparring. Um, I hear the their ring wars were <laughs> maybe more exciting than this fight, but he's certainly ready. And the scoring in that last round, gentlemen? I, I gave it to Columbia again, 10-9, and I have him up by three points. At this point. Well, I gave him, I gave him uh, a 10-8. I think that uh, Barkley is slipping. His earlier momentum is on the wane. I think he wants to try to end the fight kind of early, and that's what's, that's what's uh, messing him up. He's been trying to do that for about five rounds now. He's right. getting more frustrated as a result. Yeah, he's exactly. round. Frustrated. That's, that's what you say, frustration. The quick hands of Calibé showing more and more as this bout progresses. And you see Calibé rolling with the punches. You wouldn't know about looking at these two guys, uh, how they're going to war now, but these two are the two of the nicest guys I've ever met going into a uh, title fight. They've been hanging out, not together, but in the same room in, at the hotel lobby. Uh, both very soft-spoken and both very gentle guys, but they're certainly not showing that today in the ring. Well, they got a prize that is uh, valued by both. WBA middle of that title. They're all pushing around there now. I took one on the chin. He comes back with the left hand again. But you get the feeling that he is so off balance defensively, he's going to pay and pay and pay as this fight continues. He's never gone 15. He certainly has trained for it and done that, he says, in the gym. He has gone 12 rounds. Barkley was speaking now. Rodriguez, the referee from Venezuela, has not had much to do. But the momentum has shifted to Calambe as he takes that edge now through eight rounds. Barkley again, badly off balance in that last round and really paid for it. Out of control here as he came up. Bingo, the uppercut wisely thrown by Columbe. Well, I believe that Barkley knows right now that he's slipping. I just heard his corner tell him. He just asked his corner, told his corner that he was messing up. He knows he was messing up. And his corner tried to give him more confidence by saying that he, the fight is real close, but you're winning it. And I don't see it that way. I think misleading information, we would all agree, from Hector Rooka. But he's trying to encourage him at this stage and keep him at his game and get him back to his game. Well, the way that I scoring it right now, I got 68 for Calave and 66 for uh, Barkley. Ray, you've got a wider margin, I think. Well, after the last round, after the seventh, I had a 68, 65, but I now have a 78, 74. It's a four-point margin. Oh, boy. Calave is really tattooing him here now as he catches all kinds of leather with both hands coming well, in. You know what I'm wondering right now? I'm wondering, you know, that weight loss that uh, Barkley had. I wonder if that's affecting him right now, that he's not getting his uh, punching power the way that he would like to. Yeah, that's a good point, Marty. That was the story you were talking about, Don. Well, this morning he was 153 and a half, and he had to uh, down a couple of bananas and drink uh, pails and that, pails of water. This is something, again, I don't agree with. The, the people at the WBA forced him to gain weight so he would be over the junior welterweight, uh, junior middleweight limit. Because he, he, at first when he weighed in, he was underneath it. Well, what difference does it make as long as he's underneath it? Well, I just understand make the that. weight for that division. That's they, all made him, they made him eat to gain weight. Well, you know what's happening? Color Bay is taking control. And he's just taking his time out there now, picking his spot. He knows that he's got a beaten man out there. And all he's got to do is keep him keep us uh, und undiscouraged. And that's what he wants to do. I get the impression, Marvin Heckler, that you're a little more impressed with Colin Bay now. Oh! Yeah, but a good, good left hook. Now, see, this is the stuff that Calabay can't afford. He's got to keep that jab moving, 
and keep his balance. I don't know why Byron Bump is not jumping on him. He just hurt him with left hook and he, he backed off. He stuck on him. I think he's a little worried right now that he might run out of gas. So probably by that pound that we were talking about. Hey, Mark, when you're going for that title, you're going all out, right, brother? I mean, that's it. You just hey, go all out. What are you talking about? <laughs> there are no gas stations along the way. you got to have a full tank and hold as much as you can. I think Calibre right now is starting to get that Tiger feeling in him and probably take it to him and try to put him out in this round, before this round's over. But he did get nailed with a mighty big blow from Barkley. He just couldn't sustain and follow it. Well, he's making Barkley work, that's for sure right now. And he's keeping his right hand up, which you just seen up by his head. He's worried about Barkley's left hook. He did win respect, didn't it? Oh, yeah. He is up a lot higher now. But again, well, you made a good point earlier when you said the weight might have hurt him. He might be a little too weak. That's what it looks like to me now. Really. Wild does again cost him. This time he ducked out of the way, but in the previous round, he got stunned for being off balance. And he paid for it as he backed across the ring. Well, you know what it is. Both of these guys are perspiring really well, you know, and I think that the water that's on the canvas right now, because it's a slippery-looking canvas here, and I think that's what's uh, throwing uh, Iron Barkley's balance off. Don, this is what they call a fast ring, where the, where the canvas is uh, slippery. It's stretched across very tight. What Barkley has to do in order to come back into this fight is start shooting more right hands, more straight right hands. There's a bunch of left pong at him there, but no rights to follow. Well, you see, Colibay's already got his number. That's why he's got his right hand up Ohio now. But every time he backs up, though, he drops his, his, right, his left hand, and uh, Barkley will take advantage of it by stepping in and shooting the right hand. He just stands there and reaches. Again, like I said earlier, there's, there's the role reversal here. Colin Bay is the aggressor in boxing, and I don't know. I just uh, didn't expect this. Well, there's that that's that canvas again, about. right there. Yep. That's what I was talking about, the water on the canvas. That was the knockdown. All right, let's see how Dr. Mancini and Hagler have it scored so far. I gave that last round to Iran Barkley. I think he hit him with some good shots. He started coming on. And I now have it 87 84, a four point lead for Colin Bay. Well, I gave it to Colin Bay 10 9. He seems more composed. This is the 10th round of the schedule for 15 in Livorno, Italy. And causing more and more problems. That's and slick. again, Barkley comes up with the head every time he picks it up, and that's how he gets tagged. It is a fast track and a very compact one, this ring, just 16 feet in measurement. Well, you know, this is a fast paced tool, and these guys have been throwing a lot of leather. But a very active fight since a very fast first run. And here's the slippage again. Here's Colin Bay with his head top between the top two strands of the rope. That was a nice move by Buckley because he was coming right at him. <laughs> he turned that around in a hurry, didn't he? He, he got out of there. But look at Colin Bay moved that head. He's riding with the punches, taking the steam out of Buckley. But Buckley's punches and then making a miss. He just rides, bobs the wheels. Nice. I like what I see Colin Bay. Well, you know what that does to you, Ray, when you miss. Oh, <laughs> it does for sure. Takes all the steam out of your that, punches. That's it. At this point, Marv, like you said earlier, it looks like he's weakening, maybe because of weight loss. He surely can't afford to, to, to waste a lot of punches. Well, maybe he's worried about that 15 round, too. He looks like he's hurt a little bit. Yes. One good shot, he might go. He's very discouraged. He looks it in the corner. Well, he keeps looking over at me. Why is he looking at me? Well, you can't help him now. <laughs> Ain't nobody can help him now. He's on his own, you're right. Well, Barkley gamely hangs in, but Colin Bay winning more and more of the momentum here as the 10th round comes to an end. He looks like the top. Out they come for an 11th round. It is scheduled for 15. Don Chevrier with Ray Mancini and Marvelous Marvin Hagler with you in Livorno, Italy on ESPN tonight. And that ring, we got some attendance out there with towels trying to dry it off. It was an increasing problem in the 10th round for both fighters. I think Harry Barkley really don't want to fight anymore. He don't look like it, you know? You think the heart's gone out of him? Yeah, I think he's taking the starts right out of him. I was, I'm not going to be that bold to say that. Marvin could, but uh, I just think he certainly looks uh, 
confused. He looks dismayed. It hasn't gotten yeah. the way he planned it. <laughs> That's a good word. He certainly looks uh, dismayed in there. Like, now what do I do, you know? But, but the heart, you know, sometimes that heart just won't stop. Well, that's the mark of a good fighter. You know that. And if you're going to be a champion, that's what you got to have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right here. I'm telling you, Ray. <laughs> Ray might not go past this round. Could very well be true, Mark. <laughs> Barkley looks very sluggish and tired at this point. Well, you know, when he gets sluggish like that, he's going to start going out, get more sluggish and make a mistake. And you know what happens? And this is one of the problems that Barkley's always had in his career. Yeah, there's no question that uh, both Mancini and Hagler have Columbe winning this fight in that last round. Columbe is now certainly the aggressor, but he's, he's like a shark who smells blood. He's going in for the attack. But he's getting it both ways. I mean, he's, he's the aggressor, and yet when he has to be a counter puncher, he beats Barkley to the punch there, too. That's, that's the kind of stuff that Barkley does. That's very amateur. And that's where he should stay. Keep the head right in his chest and go to the body. You keep that head down at all times. He's got perfect example by the uh, how sluggish he is. Good right hand by Taliban. A wild left the throw. Real sluggish, real sluggish. Barkley's mouth is wide open, second bear right now. Sucking that air up. <laughs> and uh, that's not very uh, smart because you can't you call it a good punch and uh, possibly risk a broken jaw. His legs moving in a plotting kind of movement now. Another big yeah. round for Colin Bay. Well, he's moving away from him now to me. I gave, I gave Colin Bay that last round 10 9 again. Stops the left and gets it. And I think uh, Barkley's cut on the eye now. That can create a lot of problems for him. That cut that he was that you said that I think it reopened that he had from his last fight. Ooh, nice. Lost his balance. I don't think he went anymore. I don't think he went anymore. Fighting gamely, but Colin Bay is all over it. This is the only thing that keeps him in this fight, because he'll fight back. It shows hard, though. You have to give him credit. Well, Tricio, the name they have given him here in Italy, is being chanted by this enthusiastic crowd in Livorno. There is the bell with a couple of second left the side of the bell by Sumbu Colin Bay. Well, Colin Bay does look the pressure out of the boat. Boy, he had him on off balance with that wet canvas spinning all over this ring in that last round again. That's because he's getting desperate now. He knows he's getting tired and he's just going for it. I think he's going to try to go all out this, this round. It's the 12th. This is as far as Barkley has ever gone as a pro. But this fight is scheduled for 15. Well, now you know what conditioning means. create a lot of problems later on. Certainly the cut, nothing by Harrison approaching the uh, extent of the cut against Amparo in his last fight. Calabay is going right at him now like a tiger. Robbie Sims did stop Barkley, as we told you earlier. He lost to Wazley Salad. He's lost three in total as a professional. I see Barkley's leg. He's keep bouncing around. He's trying to feel his legs and make sure, like Ray said earlier, his legs are starting to weaken him. You can't take too many of those. <laughs> see, when he stepped in with the jab there, he looked very good then. That's what he has to do. He's had to step in. He's reaching, and that's how he's getting caught in the end of the punch of Calibre. Calabay has not been stopped as a professional. He has just three losses by decision and a draw to go with his 42 wins coming in. Nice left hook uh, Barkley threw right then, but he's, again, he's got to step in. He's got to follow up with that right hand. That's a solitary left, but so by itself doesn't mean that much. Well, I think he's forgot all about his right hand. See, if he was to throw him straight, he would catch this guy. See, th that again, Mark, th I don't understand. Barkley comes in, throws bing, 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 and then double shot, and backs up. Yeah. Makes no sense. Gets the back you down for a few seconds, then goes back at it later. Well, he should be starting to stay tight. I think that's his only way to survive. Right? Certainly a lot more tiring on the fight than the back up. Hands starting to tire. Ray, I think this round he might be gone. Just there, and it's 
We don't want to get up anywhere. I think he wants this referee to stop the fight. <laughs> you see the scoring, both uh, Mancini and Hagler have got Calibre comfortably ahead. I think this, they may stop this round. He looks tired. You think he's in that much trouble? No, he just looks tired. I think he's going to get he's going to get careless, and that's what's going to cost him. There's no question about who's getting there first now, and more often, and that is Calumbay and the White Grunts. His hands are getting real tired now, you know, on Barkley. He's moving away now more, trying to survive. Calumbay is just keeping that pressure right on him, and he'll work that jab. There is the bell to round the 12th round. They have three more scheduled here for the WBA Middleweight Championship. In the we'll be right back. Well, here's that incident that uh, many thought might have been a knockdown, but uh, as Barkley came in, he simply threw the left and lost his footing, a slip. Well, I think it's two. They're throwing a lot of water on Barkley, trying to keep him awake, keep him woke there, just get something going. They told him he had only two more rounds, baby. Let's put it together. That's easy for them to say. <laughs> yeah. But uh, certain desperation now in the faces of his cornerman, too, I noticed between Ryan. Barkley had sticking up. Nothing but calm again in Calabay's corner because he's got the lead. It's up to him to hold it now or finish him off. Nice. Nice. There's a nice. Short chop and nice. Nice. he takes up. Well, that's what Barkley's got to do. See, you see he's going forward now again. Every time when he was backing up, he was getting in trouble. I think that might have took a lot out of him. He got caught with a nice yeah, uppercut, uppercut, another uppercut. He's getting caught with the uppercut. He bangs with another he's got another he's got one. Another one. Solid combination close there. He's not cool. He's not covering up at all in the inside. Calabay is teeing off on him. Calabay is punching inside of Barkley's arms. Barkley's punches are wide. Calabay's coming and up through the middle. And the blood coming down Barkley's eye. Takes two jabs after a good-looking right. He's a tired fighter from the Bronx, New York, oh, yeah. like going. He's tired. He's fighting just on hard. The legs very wooden-like. Very stiff-looking. And again, Colin Bay, who can win as the aggressor, can win as the counterpuncher as well. Colin, well, Colin Bay is certainly having... Well, he's got to keep... So go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. He's got to keep... He's got to stay tight on Colin Bay if he wants to hang in there. He's got to stay tight. He crossed the moms in the inside. Colombe surely has shown that he has a good chin tonight. He has got hit with some good left hooks, right square on the chin, and he's standing up. Yeah, for a guy with a lead, he must know he has. He's taken some unnecessary risks in the late round. Well, that's the heart of a champion. You don't want to take, leave it in the judge's hands. Ask Marvin about that. Oh, we know about that. <laughs> Can't do that no more. <laughs> that's if I decide. <laughs> Another lift, man. Eh? Now, the question is, if Calabay doesn't make a serious mistake and get nailed here, he's on his way to a title. That's, that's, that's fatigue right there. That's fatigue setting in. He just, he's going, like Marvin said, on strength, on heart. Well, you know what would be nice, Ray? To see all three of these guys have a box off and, and unite the title once again. Then maybe come see Mr. Age. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll go by initials. I like that. You will be sure to leave your card yeah. where you could be contacted. Oh, believe me, they know where I'm at. I'm not hard to find. Well, Burns and Will Dad will take care of the other third of the three middleweight titles next week in Las Vegas. But now it looks like Patricio Simbo Calambe is nicely on the way to this one, the WBA version. And takes the uppercut to Graves with the left to follow. Well, to me, uh, I thought that was more or less a slip from the water on the canvas. He took the real shots. But the uppercuts are tough. Those yep. uppercuts are tough. He's coming right out and giving it all right now. He really is. He's got to let it all hang out and fly if he wants to win it down. Barkley, that is, and he knows it. Behind by a considerable margin. Well, is just laying back now. Look at him, he's just rolling those shoulders. I, I like what I see right now. It takes a lot of energy out of you, right? Yes. Every time you miss. I mean, call him back. I wasn't sure. I didn't have a, a book on him, and I'm, but I'm telling you what, this guy is really a sharp fighter. Well, you certainly see more of Barker than Columbay, but he has earned my respect. I'll tell you that much, and I think you share it. Both these guys, there, there is no loser tonight. There, only, just, there will be one winner, that's all. 
what Conobe did, he succeeded in taking Barkley's plan away from him early and just turning the whole thing around to his advantage. That's the name of the game, but that's what you want to do. Establish uh, dictatorship right off the get-go. No question that Barkley needs a knockout to win this, but there's no indication he's going to get it as hard as he is trying. Well, Ray, we might have to get out of here quick if uh, Colin Ray wins. Oh. These people look like it's going to be a madhouse. I know, I'm going to jump in that ring. Not as, not as quick as if he loses, I'll tell you. <laughs> good point, good point. Huh? And this crowd is defeated to a good title battle. A oh, tremendous fight, and I think people all over the world and in America have been treated by Supreme athletes. Okay. These guys are tremendous. Well, I'm going to right now. Sorry, uh, Marvin, that you both have at this stage into you know, the 14th round. Very one sided. I ran constantly getting beaten with a punch. As hard as he is trying for the big blow to turn it around, it's just not there for him. Well, at least you start going back to boxing. Either that or go on the inside. He's safer think, on the inside. Yeah, I think right now he's going to have to pressure. He wants to close and throw, throw punches. That's what he's got to do. Get in the inside and hopefully get lucky. And if he wants to rest, rest on the inside. On the inside. This would, be a, this would be a big, big month for boxing in Italy with two champions crowned within three weeks apart, Don. That's right. Rocky over in Perugia, the foot of the uh, Italian Alps, getting the other title one three weeks ago. He is here tonight. There's a good left again by Colin Bay. A lot of blood coming out of his mouth, out of uh, Barkley's mouth right now. He's probably having trouble breathing. He had that mouth open much of the time. Oh, you tell you what, someone's going to be sore tonight oh. <laughs> after this fight. Hot, a nice hot bath. Both, both of them. them. We know what that feels like, don't we, Ray? That's the shit. Sundo Kalambe looks to be three minutes precisely away from the WBA middleweight championship here in the middle He turned it around and locked the air and simply accelerated as he pulled away from the fighter from the Bronx, New York, who's in a desperate situation now. Round 15, the final one. Here's the heart of Iran Barkley coming right out after him saying, hey, it's the last round, let's give it all we got. Nice, caught him with a nice double left hook. Yes, he did. Stuck him a couple of times yeah, over there. Caught Colibay pretty good there. Yeah. You know, Colibay can't relax and think he's got this fight won yet, you know. Oh, right you're, right you're, you're right, Marv. He's trying to be a little bit too confident. That's right it. Hey, you, you, you never until they say the fat lady sing. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of fat ladies today. <laughs> she is at least tuning up. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the pasta. <laughs> Barkley with a spirited debut here in the 15th round. Chops it with a good hard left hand. Color baby, you can just move around and just stay out of range of, uh, out of Barkley. I think he knows they have to fight one. Yeah. So here's when you might concede to the judges if you're in his shoes and say, yeah, I've got it one and let you stay out of trouble. Well, you better watch that cut there over Barkley's eye. He could be giving him problems. It's like the blood might start dropping in his eye now. To the same spot as the one on the Impala fight. Oh, nice. He caught Colibay with a nice overhand left there. He's got him with a few good punches here in this round. It's been certainly his best for the last half dozen or more. Done. Oh, he starts cocking it. When you start cocking that left hand like that, the bottom before a straight right hand. That's the way my trainer taught me. Mark, I said earlier that the ring being as small as it is would benefit Barkley. It's just the opposite. It's been benefiting Columbine. Exactly. All the expectations got turned around here inside about three rounds. Well, Columbine's got to stay off those ropes, though, because every time that Barkley gets him on the rope, he lets those babies fly. It's getting very late right now for Aram Barkley. The 15th and final round. And he has certainly come out with a flourish trying to score the knockout he must feel he needs to win, but it hasn't been there. Well, you have to give Barkley a lot of credit, though. Yes, you do. You know, he showed a lot of heart, and he's still fighting like a tiger in there, and that's great. A good combination there. There's the left hand again, possibly blocked by Colin Bay. Well, whether he wins or loses in this fight, you know, he knows that he's been in a tighter fight. And you get the smell to know what it's all about. And we've been introduced to a man, Colin Bay, who deserves watching in the future.
That eye is very puffy now and slip by the punches of Tom Day. That is the left eye of Those Barkley. Punches. Oh, stay tight. Stay tight. You try to work in the air, you go. Stay tight. Stay on him again. Every time, like Ray said, he backs up out of there every time he gets the game going. And he has got to going a few times with this final round, but he's out of time. That just is caught roaring with approval. They feel that Patricio Sundu Tanabe has won it. And we'll find out very shortly if that is the case in the eyes of the three ringside judges. They are from uh, Panama, Denmark, and Canada. The referee from Venezuela has no vote. But on the cards of the two men to my right, it looks to be a one-sided victory for Colombe. Yes, I gave it to Colombe. I, I have a 146-139 in favor of Colombe, yes. So both decisive margins from the two champions at ringside. And Colombe <laughs> has pleased this crowd here and left them short of just one thing. That is a knockout. But it was Barkley who came rushing out for the knockout blow in the final round and just couldn't bring it home. He got off to a bad start. Here he is getting knowledge from a few doctors here, and he got a few whistles, which is the European boo for Barkley. Like I said, Don, there is no loser tonight. It's a shame that those are all be one winner. Both of these guys fought like champions and shouldn't have deserved the title. Just that one of them looked to be so much better and so much more consistent. That is Callum Bay. and the Ray Mancini for joining me at ringside tonight for what was a very fine bout, a very uh, hotly contested bout, but the point was made by both Ray and Marvin earlier that Barkley's plan got turned around and became Colombe's plan and advantage, and that is tactically and also the small ring. It worked certainly to the advantage of the Italian fighter far more than it did for Iran Barkley. <laughs> Done. Uh, my man interjects that Marvel may be doing the smart thing right now. He's on the way out. He's heading for the door. Hey, that may be a good move. We await the decision here in Livorno, Italy. Here's the decision now. point margin from the Danish judge for Calumbo. Another seven point margin for Calumbo. Seven, one forty-two. The last judge, so it's a unanimous decision for Patricio Sumbu Kalambe, who wins the WBA middleweight championship here tonight.